Hey, BookTube. How's it going? I'm going to tell you a little story, okay? So, I hauled butt to the post office, hoping I'd get there before it closed. And it turns out, I got my times mixed up, and I was actually getting there before it opened. Now, some of you might not understand how something like that could happen, but it did. And I yelled. And then I said to myself, <clears throat> after standing in line with all the people there, Zoe, you should totally go down to the post office. Because, like, all the people who were waiting there were, like, artists waiting to pick up materials. Were they? Yeah, like, this chick was waiting for brushes, and then this other chick was waiting for, um, something for a sculpture that she was working on. But they're like, oh, are you going to be at the thing, the blah, blah, blah festival tomorrow? Oh, no, I'm going to be at the Cactus Fair, blah, blah, blah. There's all these things that people from all over Southern California come out here to buy art from really? people. Yeah. But, like, everyone who was in line, <clears throat> it was just a bunch of chicks with tattoos, like, talking about what they were working on and oh what, um, what things, what expos and marketplaces and stuff they're going to be at. That's amazing. Yeah. And I'm like, why the heck am I here? Can I? So at the post office, I got this box of books for Zoe. No. <laughs> it wasn't. It was for Matt and Zoe both. Yeah, it was for us both. And I think I know... Who it was from. But maybe I don't. It did say library mail on the box. Now if I could think of anyone I know who might be a librarian. Hmm. I can't place it. Killmaster Nate Carter, codename Werewolf. Arr! That's cool. Oh, look at that. Werewolf received first payment. More money on execution. No reason for doubt. Werewolf successful in all other assassinations. Now F must die. Traitor F must die. O. M. Jesus. That's going to be a good one. Then, a William Johnstone, Cutthroats. A slash and Pico Western. Picos. Pico. Picos. Well, that looks like a young Waylon Jennings with an old Chris Christopherson. So I'm assuming this is going to be awesome. Let's see. Vicious Circle by Mike Carey, author of The Devil You Know. I don't know anything about this. And tradition awesome. of mega-selling authors Jim Butcher and Neil Gaiman, celebrated comics creator Mike Carey, Presents a thrilling new novel in his series featuring ghosts, ghouls, and the luckless bastard who hunts them. Wow. Cannot wait. Okay. <clears throat> now, I, 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 don't, I, I, I don't even know where to start with this. So we'll just start from here. Um... Doc Savage. Doc freaking Savage. When I saw Doc Savage when that box opened, I nearly did boo-boo in my pants. Gross. <laughs> okay. Look at that widow's peak, dude. He's not effing around. Who is Doc Savage? To the world at large, Doc Savage is a strange, mysterious figure of glistening bronze skin and golden eyes. To his amazing co-adventurers, the five greatest brains ever assembled in one group, he is a man of superhuman strength and protein genius whose life is dedicated to the destruction of evildoers. To his fans, he is the greatest adventure hero of all time whose fantastic exploits are unequaled for hair-raising thrills, breathtaking escapes, and blood-curdling excitement. 
I realized halfway through that that I started to sound like the comic book store guy on The Simpsons. So, this one is called The Derek Devil, Doc Savage, by Kenneth Robertson, number 74. Oh, Robeson, sorry. Then we have The Stone Man, number 81. Now, this is how I explain Doc Savage to Zoe. I'm like, he's this bronze dude with Lego hair, and his shirt is always ripped off of him. Yep, pretty accurate. Yeah, and so when I saw this cover, Quest of Key, maybe, I'm like, that shirt's not ripped off of him. He's wearing a lady's coat. And it's all put together. Can we say it again? Who the hell's that guy? God, they look so good. His shirt's not being ripped off of him. Oh, my gosh, this is number 12. Number 17, the Red Skull. Shirt is being ripped. Dude, his shirt bills must be outrageous. The Terror in the Navy, number 33. Shirt ripped. Spook hole. Number 70, and I won't tell you the joke that I was about to say about it. Ripped shirt. And then we have the polar treasure. Where he is not in a ripped shirt. But it's okay, because he's on a cliff being attacked by a giant polar bear. Which is awesome, because we just watched the terror. And we had the... the Tunbak. Yeah? Yeah, Tunbak. But this was the first thing I saw when I opened the box. It looks amazing. And I was I like, oh! Look. I know. It looks amazing. This is number four. And the Lego hair Doc Savage. Oh my gosh. And these are so, like, uber fast paced, like, action up your keister meester. So, these are going to be fun, and I'm sure I could blow through a couple a day. (sighs) I'm all freaking out right now. So, thank you, Mysterious Librarian, for sending these books to us. We're very excited. Are we not? Are we not? We're really excited, but you need to thank him properly, because you know exactly who it is. (gasps) You mean it's Mark? It's Mr. Richardson. Mr. Richardson? (laughs) Oh, my gosh. My detective skills are quite shit at the minute, apparently. (laughs) But it's a good thing my wife was here to fix that up. So, these have found a very nice home and will be very much read with glee um so that's it so if you've read any of these let me know down below um i actually don't have that nick carter book and zoe's like don't you have this and i'm like i don't have that and she's like are you sure i'm like i think i remember like a long ass time ago mark asked me if i'd read that one because he had read it And I'm like, oh my gosh, that sounds awesome, but I don't think I have it. And I went through all my Nick Carter books and didn't have it. And um, so it's weird that, like, you could have a conversation with somebody, like, a year and a half ago or something. And then it comes full circle in a little box marked library mail. (sighs) Very special. Yes. So thank you, sir, again. And um, let me know if you've read any of these. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Bye.